My name is Gusta Johnson and I am proud to work at the Carnegie Council. The Council has been the voice for ethics and international affairs for nearly a century, but we need your help. To guarantee the future of programs like this one, please give generously to the Council's fund drive. Visit CarnegieCouncil.org and click on donate slash join. Thank you. I think we're, well, the Middle East is entering a prolonged period of instability. And this is going to have huge international uh, implications. It's likely to unsettle existing alliances. We're already seeing this happen with the US-Saudi alliance um, the, uh, in terms of the different responses of the United States government and the Saudi government to this Arab Spring. It is likely to generate new regional tensions. Um, tensions have been exacerbated between Saudi Arabia and Iran down the line, but possibly between Israel and Egypt. Uh, so new regional tensions are emerging. If Libya, if the civil war in Libya continues and it, it, it devolves into a failed state, increasing emigration from uh, Libya as well as from Tunisia into, into Western Europe, which will pose a challenge for European governments. Um, instability in the Middle East will also obviously impact the price of oil, which will affect the global economy. So uh, for, for the foreseeable future, we're going to be entering a period of great uh, change and instability, and as a result, the region is going to be a lot more unpredictable. Largely, it's been predictable. It may not have been a benign region for the United States, but it's been at least a largely predictable region for US policymakers. Going into the future, it's going to be a lot less predictable and consequently a lot less manageable. And I think, therefore, although ultimately I am um, reasonably uh, hopeful about the long-term prospects, as I said, precisely because of this uh, emergence of people power, and I think the, the prospects for the better prospects for democracy, I think from the US and more broadly from the Western perspective, it's going to be a lot more challenging region to deal with going into the future.